it's Julian. Welcome back to the channel. I am a recent graduate of Wellesley College and I'm going to be a graduate student at the University of Cambridge. This summer I'm going to be traveling around Greece with a couple of friends and I'm so excited to show you what we get up to. But today I wanted to focus on my packing. My flight to Greece is tomorrow and right now we're doing our last minute packing, making sure everything is in order. A couple of things to know, I'm going to be in Greece for about five weeks and I'm also traveling on a budget. So this isn't going to be a fancy packing vlog, but these are going to be the essentials that I think that you need to travel. I have done a lot of traveling in the past as a solo traveler, as a backpacker and throughout Europe. So I feel like I could give you some really great suggestions if you're interested. So let's get started. I'm not checking any luggage. I'm only bringing these two bags right here. This is a real proper REI backpacker's backpack, which is really nice. It straps around like that. And you can fit a ton in here. You can't see it, but it can go really high up. It's amazing. I've used it on backpacking trips. It's awesome. I have a tote bag that I'm bringing. It's the perfect dimensions for a carry-on that goes under the seat on the plane. What I'm doing is I'm putting my purse in here. I'm flying on Turkish Airlines and we have a very limited amount of baggage before they start charging us extra. So something I'm doing on a budget is I'm just taking very minimal baggage. So my mom here is helping me pack. How's the packing going? So far so good. What do you think are the three most important things to have while traveling? I think you gotta have your passport, you gotta have your cell phone, and you have to have a little money in your pocket. Hey, it's the next day. So yesterday was pretty crazy. I did all my packing. I got most of my stuff organized and packed, ready to go. But now I'm just gonna show you what I pack. All right, let's do it. I'll start with the liquids. Here is my liquid bag. I have a quart size bag in here and then it's inside a gallon bag just for extra protection. All of the liquids in here are travel size are really tiny, which means they're under 3.4 ounces, face wash, moisturizer, all the essentials. And then of course, like a ton of sunscreen for my face and body. Some of these are even leftover from stays in hotels. So just like really cute, tiny lotions, shampoo. All right, we've got my nice big backpack right here. And you open it up. So you'll notice it's not completely stuffed because I want the extra space. I don't want to feel like I'm cramming things in. I also want to bring back some souvenirs as well, so I just want that extra space. First thing, I've got my hat. I've also got my eye mask. It's perfect for staying in a hostel or also a hotel room because you never know how bright the room is going to be. This is amazing. Flip-flops right here. And what I did is I put the flip-flops in a plastic bag. When I travel, I do this with all the shoes that I bring. I wrap them in plastic bag. This is a quick dry towel. I would not re recommend bringing a full size towel because they take forever to dry. But with this one, really easy, super tiny. I just hang it up in a hotel, a hostel, and it's all ready to go because a lot of hostels will charge you to rent towels. And that's just so unnecessary to pay for. And I've got a bathing suit right here. That's like something I've forgotten in past and it's not fun to forget that. So I just have it right here. I love this. It's my silk sleeping bag. Perfect for a hostel or even a hotel because you just want that extra layer of protection. It's really nice. I cover my pillow with the sleeping bag. So like I'm not touching any of the sheets or any part of the bed. I've got here, my, my sun protective shirt. I also am wearing one here. I'm really big on sun protection. And since we're gonna be going somewhere really sunny, gotta make sure I have that SPF coverage. And then for the rest of the clothes, I'm not gonna dig this all out, but I rolled them. So if you see here, every clothing item is just rolled. It makes it super easy to fit everything I need. There are probably seven shirts, three shorts, a couple pairs of pants, a couple dresses, 
all in here. I really squeezed it in. So even though it doesn't look like a lot of clothes, trust me, it's a lot of clothes. So I am gonna be doing laundry. So really all I needed was maybe a week's worth of clothes. And then in this separate compartment, I have my undergarments. In this side compartment, I have my water bottle. I'm also bringing my computer. It's not in here yet, but it's gonna go right here. Then I have a couple garbage bags right here, which I'm gonna put all my dirty clothes in. Okay, so for my second carry-on bag, I am bringing this tote bag, which is really nice. I chose it because it zippers at the top, which I think is really important for keeping things secure. I have my giant purse in here. That has all my essentials, sunglasses, wallet, passports. In here, I've got my euros. I highly recommend going over with the currency so you don't have to stress about that when you get there. And then, of course, I've already gone through this, but my liquids bag is gonna be going in here. Right now, I have masks because they're still required on public transit in Greece. I've got my makeup bag right here. I've got all of my non-liquid makeup items, which is quite a lot. One thing I recommend is getting a travel size toothbrush. I really love this. And then I also have a toothbrush cover so that if I want to cover the brush, I can. I also normally use a full size eyeshadow palette, but I bought this travel size shadow just for the trip. Another thing is just to always remember a razor because I feel like that is really annoying thing to buy abroad because they tend to be really expensive. Also, Sylvia says hi. I love guidebooks, so I had to get this. I have it all organized, the places that are gonna be going. I'm gonna be using this a lot. It's huge, but it's 100% worth it. It has maps, details about restaurants, activities to do. It's just overall a great resource to have. Right here I've got kind of a miscellany bag with my chargers my headphones. I decided to bring only corded headphones all this trip. I've got some Advil, band-aids, a portable charger, which is great if you're going on a long day trip. I also have a power converter. So this one has EU, UK, and Australia, which is so nice and essential if you're traveling abroad. I'm bringing some instant coffee over as well. I put it in an old spice container. Uh, another item I recommend is this portable scale. So what I do is I wrap this around my bag and then I'm able to see how much it weighs, which is perfect because my backpack here can only be 15 pounds. So I need to make sure that it's under that. So that's it for my packing video. I love traveling and I found that being able to pack well is really crucial to having a nice trip. I am so excited that I could show you what I'm bringing. I'm gonna link some of my favorite products below in the description if you'd like to check them out. I hope you'll follow along on my Greece journey. I'm going to be vlogging and I'm excited to show you that. Preeti's also gonna be coming to Greece so you'll be able to see her. So yeah, be sure to give us a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.